Yeah, I don't do motivational speeches. Like, <laughs> Okay. So. <laughs> Aside from everything that Blake is saying being completely true. <laughs> I'm Alexis Cedar Almy. I am the project lead on PEND. And I have a couple, I'm going to keep it pretty short because I'm not a huge speaker in public. But I wanted to ask everyone a couple of questions. Who has seen a question like this? Of course you have, because you've all taken the SAT. And you guys remember studying for the SAT. Another raise of hands. Some of you, some of you. We were told not to study for it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> now, what can we say that all of these Cheating. pictures taken from like College Board and other sites like that, what do they have in common? I will give you a hint. <laughs> they are all like, incredibly happy and excited to be studying. Unfortunately, this is not the case. Studying is not fun. Why is it not fun? Because pretty much the SATs invite you to memorize long, long, long lists of words and definitions, especially for the verbal portion. Now it's more logic, but as far as verbal goes, this is pretty much it. I actually did this. I stared at long lists. It was awful. Now, this style of learning actually doesn't work. Like, pretty much as soon as you take the test, I can guarantee that all of you instantly forgot everything and went to bed for about four hours. Um, since you don't actually remember all this stuff, there's no point in actually learning it. There's, there's no long-term investment in memorizing all of these words, because it doesn't benefit you in the long run. So, how do we fix this? Enter Pend. Pend is a 3D action-adventure game where the player uses vocabulary words to change the game world and gameplay. Now, the way that we do this is we put words in context. Sure, we show you definitions so that you actually know what they mean in case you're confused, but we mostly want to show you stuff in context of the game. So when something is voluminous, we show it being really, really big. When something is diminutive, we show it really, really small. We show all this stuff in the context of the game and that helps you remember it. The fact that you're interacting with those words on a concrete level is huge and actually gives you an impact for like the rest of the game and has you remember them later. We also do a lot of stuff with repetition. So we repeat words multiple times. We show you a word, and then at the end of the game, when you have a final box, boss, sorry, not box, that doesn't make any sense, a boss, you have a sort of final exam, where you remember those words, and if you remember them correctly, they can benefit you a lot. So that's pretty much my spiel as to what Pend is, but I'm going to show you guys a trailer of the game, which is very exciting, and then we'll do a demo. Perhaps you've heard of my work. Some have called it outlandish, eccentric, and maybe My words are transcendent and perpetual. And the 
as their influence spreads, my stories are changing. Think of how they will now end. Mm, how rude. No. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to play a demo for you. But before I start, I just wanted to make a note. Our game actually has two paths. In the game, you can take the path of knowledge or the path of might. Unfortunately, the game is about 45 minutes long, so I can't play the entire thing. But we are going to play through the path of night, or night, might. And then at the end, I'm actually going to show you guys a highlight reel of the stuff that you missed so that you guys have a good idea of the game as a whole. So without further ado, here's a demo of Path. Being a librarian is easy, but in this library, you've got to keep things in order, ensure none of the regular patrons are disturbed, and, oh yeah, if one of the universes within the books gets invaded by evil, it's your job to jump in and clean it up. Better hope it wasn't too twisted to start with. Something is competent about you. Look, you're really not intended you're by the case saying you. Ah, look out! Oh, that's just convenient for you, isn't it?
some of those buildings have tongues? It's the spread of those fiends, corruption. Who has it that my black cat may be the source? Find it and cast these dullards and dimwits out of my glorious creation. Won't you? I'll do my best. We're doomed. Always so positive. Now that everything's taken care of, everything should be still crazy. Huh. Well, if that wasn't the source of the corruption, then what? Ah, crud.
one for like huge emotional speeches like blake is but <laughs> um everyone on this team worked outrageously hard and spent a lot of time and effort um putting everything that they had into the game and it was a really ambitious project and we really took a lot on especially like doing two paths and stuff and I can't say that parts of it weren't difficult, but I definitely think, as I'm sure you guys do, that the end product is worth it. So um, I wanted the members of Penn to stand up, and everyone to give them a big round of applause. Jeremiah Graves, that means bearded. Yeah.